Hello everyone. I just found uh, these few packets of sugar or, or the sugar alternatives and uh, just felt like sharing a few information. See what happened is th this this is the sugar that all of us know white sugar refined sugar and all these things. So in the past few years awareness among people about the ill effects of sugar has definitely increased. So Increased consumption of sugar leads to spike in blood sugar levels, spike in insulin level, causing obesity, diabetes, so many other complications. Uh, so obviously, the sugar consumption has decreased over the past few years, which is a very good thing. But this is not really a good thing for the sugar industry as such. So what has happened is we usually have a tendency that anything that is brown is slightly healthier than white. Say for example, brown bread, which is healthier than white bread or brown rice, which is healthier than white rice. So maybe to make use of uh, the same concept, uh, these days we see a lot of these brown sugar packets. So let's just try to understand, uh, is it any good? Uh, obviously it is costlier than white sugar. So is it really worth that extra amount of money that you're going to spend in buying brown sugar? See, essentially, uh, what's brown sugar? Brown sugar is just same as white sugar, except that it has the molasses. So if molasses are not separated from the sugar, it becomes brown sugar. Uh, even in sugar, there are two types. There is uh, unrefined or the raw sugar and the refined sugar. So during refining, all the impurity, the so-called impurities are, are removed from sugar. And most of the time, sulfur is added for that. Uh, what happens is some trace amounts of sulfur uh, gets left behind in the sugar, which of course is not good for our health. So similarly, there can be unrefined brown sugar where uh, molasses are not removed from the sugar and that gives it its uh, brown color. Let me just open that. And for those who do not know how brown, what, how does it look? This is how it, I don't know if you're able to see it. So this is how it looks. It's just brown in color and uh, even taste wise, it is it is slightly different from the usual white sugar. If, if molasses are not removed, then we get brown sugar. And if it is removed, we get white sugar. And in case of refined sugar, uh, they just add uh, molasses to uh, the refined sugar to get a refined brown sugar. See what they claim is this brown sugar has uh, more of trace minerals than uh, the white sugar like magnesium, calcium, ex potassium, etc. And hence it is healthy. But the fact is that uh, the quantity of these minerals, these trace minerals is so insignificant that it, it, it doesn't really make any difference because you can easily get these minerals with your usual, with your usual staple diet. So, and more important than that, the uh, caloric value and the speed at which it rises your blood sugar is is all the same. Hence, uh, there is practically no benefit of consuming brown sugar over white sugar. And there are several varieties of brown sugar available in the market. Uh, we have the unrefined sugar that is the most natural kind of sugar which is known to retain the ingredients including iron, magnesium etc which I talked about earlier. Then we have Demerara sugar. It is a light brown sugar and is most commonly used in baking. Now this variety of sugar is, is like partially processed. And then we have dark brown sugar. Uh, the other alternative that all of us have seen are these products. I'm not uh, in favor or against any brand. I'm just showing this because I, I only have this. So these are all uh, so-called uh, sugar-free sweeteners. Uh, there are different uh, contents of that and this this has uh, sucralose see the thing with these is uh, what they claim is that these compounds are of course sweet but they do not get digested by our body and hence do not contribute in any way to the caloric intake but the fact is that uh, it may be true but it is also found in a few individuals that consuming these also leads to increase in blood sugar level and increase in insulin level in a few people and not necessarily in all. And it is also found that a lot of these sugar-free supplements uh, can cause a variety of side effects uh, it is ranging from 
abdominal discomfort or uh, distraction of the healthy bacteria in the gut apart from this allergies and and so many other complications are seen damage to kidneys these things are noted in a few individuals who regularly consume uh, these uh, so called sugar free supplements if you just compare the rates if you just open amazon you get white sugar at roughly around maybe 30 to 40 rupees per kg uh, while uh, you get brown sugar at 3 or 4 times the cost of it and you even also see this uh, so called uh, sugar light where they claim that the calorie is is half of uh, the usual white sugar that is because it is a blend of uh, stevia as well as uh, uh, the simple sugar now what is stevia stevia is is basically obtained from a leaf uh, yes of course it it is claimed that uh, it does not contribute to the caloric uh, rise because again it is not digested by our uh, body but it is again uh, found that it can cause a lot of side effects to our body hence uh, it is actually advised to stay away from stevia and if at all it is to be consumed it is uh, it should be consumed at less than around 4 mg per kg body weight so 4 mg for a 60 kg person the maximum permitted amount of stevia intake is uh, roughly about 2 uh, to 3 grams per day not more than that so it is definitely not advisable and so the next question comes uh, do we have any other alternative yes of course we have an alternative that is to go sugar free yes it uh, might sound funny but the fact is that uh, when you try to drink your tea or coffee without sugar you may find that uh, the taste is is very weird uh, for uh, initial few days but trust me sugarless tea or coffee is a developed taste that is after that is as you consume it regularly you tend to uh, get used to that taste and and trust me when when you get used to drinking sugarless tea or coffee if you if you just uh, accidentally drink uh, coffee or tea with sugar you actually feel it's too sweet and you don't want to consume it so sugarless tea or coffee is is just a developed taste you just uh, make a habit of that and uh, it becomes a routine i would say uh, it is definitely better to avoid the consumption of sugar as much as possible and uh, to replace it with brown sugar or these sugar free supplements is definitely a big no from me